as both teams loading the box. Trying to find some space in there on this throw-in. It's headed out. Guzman getting there. Shot here from Abel is in! What a play! And Getsoni Abel in the final minute has struck first blood and the Eagles are on top 1-0. And you got the sense. One of these teams had to give eventually. The past few minutes of this game had been back and forth, back and forth. It comes off the throw in. The ball bounces to Abel right in the heart of the box. And he <laughs> puts a clinical finish right past Ethan Larson to the bottom right corner of the net. Larson has been so good all day but couldn't reach that one. 17 seconds and got Sony Abel his second goal of the season. A clutch, insanely clutch goal. And the Eagles are 17 seconds away from avenging their loss from last year when they lost to this captain's team in the coast-to-coast -coast final. They really don't get any bigger than that strike from Abel. One last try here, it's in! No time left, are you kidding me? Oh my goodness! A tie game! Two goals in 17 seconds! Here for the Eagles, if you had to take one bet, it would be Josh Kirkland, their leading goal scorer, but these, we will see. These situations, you never know. Sometimes you do have a couple guys who maybe are kind of specialists, whereas maybe they don't quite shine on the field. And as I say that, of course, their trots, Kirkland. Just as you predicted, Andrew. So Kirkland, like we've said throughout this game, is the leading goal scorer for the Eagles. He's one for one this year on penalty kicks. That one came against the Seagulls on Friday. Kirkland. So he's trying to continue that streak. Kirkland, maybe the freshest of any player that's going to be taking a PK. Round one is in. Kirkland goes right, and he finds the net, gives them a one nothing lead. And CNU will call upon Elton Quintanilla to try to match that. Different from his goal yesterday. Kirkland opts to take the right side of the net. He went left yesterday. With clinical all the same. Hemendinger in net for UMW. Quintanilla, one of five goal scorers to get three goals this year. He's one for one this year in attempts. His shot lifted over the net. And the margin that Mary Washington may need in this one is found in the first round of penalty kicks. You can see it in his body language as he walks back. That is so often what players are told to stay away from, just keep it on the ground, keep it on the ground. You cannot afford to not put it on net. Here's number two save made by Larson, however. That was Guzman on the attempt. And Larson went right as he did on the first attempt. And it opens the door again now for CNU. After, after those first rounds of kick, round of kicks, Mary Washington immediately gains the advantage. Larson neutralizes it quickly. Mason Field up next. In his career, he took one last year. One for one, shoots this one and scores. Hemendinger guessed the wrong way. And that time, it is capitalized by Mason Field. Who that's, ties this one up going into the third round. That's a great job by Fields. You could tell 
in the run-up, he kind of gave Hemendinger a little hesitation, and that threw off Hemendinger's timing, though he guessed the wrong side anyway, so it may not have mattered ultimately. I believe this is AJ Goler on the shot, and he goes down the middle. Or sorry, that was Sammy Ambrose. Ambrose did not attempt one in his freshman season, which is this year, but he gets it to go there. That's just confidence from Ambrose. You can see he's not not overthinking anything. You really are I mean, you are so close to the goal in these situations. Here's Kyle Stenzel now. Stenzel hasn't attempted a penalty kick this year. And he fires one into the left bottom corner. Hemendinger guessing left for the second time in a row. Wrong for the second time in a row. Carter Berg will take this one. This year Berg is 0 for 1 on penalty kicks. Berg obviously not trying to go to 0 for 2 here. As we're in the fourth round here. Whistle blows for Berg. Trying to beat Larson. And he's got it. Not oversimplifying it at all. Gets it by Ethan Larson. And we go to the bottom of the fourth with the Eagles up 3-2. Sounds like you're calling a baseball game with that. It's fun. <laughs> and now... <laughs> oh, my goodness. We have Ethan Larson taking it. And Ethan Larson has some experience in the field. Kicking with his left foot, does a hesitation and gets it by Hemendinger. Goalie on goalie crime there. Hemendinger opting for the right side after guessing to the left the previous two times. And he gets hit with another hesitation move. Throws off his timing. Will Rising will take the third penalty kick here. He has not attempted a penalty kick here at, during his time at UMW here in the fifth round. Kicks it on. Off the post and in. And Larson guessed the correct side. And it just snuck by the post and Larson. Oh, my goodness. Larson was right there, but... Just a picture-perfect finish. So, Hemendinger can win it for his team. And Chris Schramm will get the attempt. Here it is, bottom of the fifth. And Schramm, right down the middle, maybe took a little stutter step and gets it by Hemendinger. 4-4, four, four, and we'll go to extra penalty kicks because why not <laughs> <laughs> lots of guys have been throwing in that hesitation that's worked several times in a row beating Hemendinger so this time it'll be Juan Vargas Larson with his hands up in the cage here's the chance and it is put by Larson, by Vargas, setting up another chance for Hemendinger to seal the deal right here. And, of course, Trevor Smith now for the captains trying to keep this one going. Smith, the sophomore from Richmond, Virginia, lining this one up. Hemendinger... Of course, again, trying to end it right here. But this one lifted by Hem Hemendinger on the other side that he dove to. And we're tied once again. The seventh round now upcoming. And this marathon of a championship game just continues. This time it'll be Gadsoni Abel. If we haven't mentioned it already, Abel has the one goal today for the Eagles. Seventh round now, Abel. Shoots it on, Larson the save! 
and that'll set it up for the captains to win this one. And, and who else? I was about to say. Who else but number 35, Owen Burnett. The captains owe everything just to be in this position right now. It's fitting that he'll have a chance to send them home with the title. This really could be, Chris, a storybook ending right now. As you see Burnett walking up, putting the ball down now against Heming Hemendinger, and this could do it here. Burnett clutching up with no time left. Now can end it. Owen Burnett, save made by Hemendinger. Are you oh. kidding me? This one is not over, and it continues. Every time you think you have this game figured out. There's another turn. <laughs> it sends you another sweet surprise. Something new on your doorstep every time. Abel Lewis will be next in line. The eighth round now. Lewis, no goals this season. Gets this opportunity and capitalizes. And Larson again there, Chris. He guessed the correct side. Just a little outstretched for his outstretched hands. Larson has been, I mean, right there on a lot of these kicks. This time, it'll be Jonathan Lighting. Lighting, a first teamer in the Coast to Coast Conference, facing off against Hemendinger, who we mentioned, second team in the conference. And it is saved by Hemendinger, and that will end it. Griffin Hemendinger, two saves in a row, one with his back against the wall, and the second one to give Mary Washington the Coast to Coast Conference Championship here at Seagull Soccer Stadium.